Hello and welcome to this little showcase of a system I've been working on lately. What I've created here is a raider or compass system based on God of War. However, you find compasses and raiders in almost every open world game, including examples like Skyrim, Horizon Zero Dawn or the more recent Assassin's Creed Origins. First off, if we start playing here, you will see that there is a radar widget on the upper side of our screen and it displays the different directions like north, east, south and west and their position on the radar actually changes when we rotate our character around. Further if we press a specified key, in my case C, the radar will fade out and if I press C again it will be shown. So for example if you don't want to show the radar in cutscenes or combat you can simply hide and show it again. Apart from that the system is extremely modular. If we select our character here really quickly you will see that there is a radar component and here you've got an array for all the different directions. If we just were to add some other directions like northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest, that is extremely simple. We just hit that add element button here four times, go into the first one, so that will be northeast and it will ask you for a world rotation, so that is the cycle degrees associated with that direction. So for northeast that will be 45 degree. Then let's go to the next one. This here will be southeast which are the 45 degrees from before plus 90 degrees, so 135 degrees. Then there will be southwest, and that are 225 degrees. And finally, northwest, which are 315 degrees. Okay, if we hit play now, we've got all of the directions we just added. We're facing north, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, and north again. The most important aspect of all radar systems is that they lead the player to mission or objective goals using markers on the radar. So if we have a look at the radar again, there are the default markers. We can just add an element here. If we expand that, it will be asking us whether it's a main or side quest. So that will change the display of the marker to indicate that. And it will ask for the position to lead the player to. If we have a look in the world. I just added some target points here. So this one in the very center of the door here, we will use that to lead the player to an objective of a main quest. So right click the location, just copy that. And if I paste that for the position here, we've got that one already. Let's add a second one just to show the side quest and it will lead us to, let's say the stairs here. I added a second target point here, copy the location, go back to the character and paste it for the radar. Let's have a look to see whether that's working. So what we see first here is the blue marker that will be leading us to the sub goal. On top of the marker it reads 21 meters. So it also displays the distance to the target goal. And if I just move, you can see that updating both the position on the radar and the distance text until I reach the point. And if I turn around, we've got that orange marker that will lead us to the main quest, 20 meters, and it will end up at the door here. Another feature in God of War is that the color of the radar changes to orange when you're close to something like a secret. So I also implemented that feature. If we have a look at that barrel there, the orange one, you will see that there is a sphere around it which indicates the radius in which it will be highlighted. So let's move in there and you can see color of our radar changes to orange, also increases the opacity. And if we leave that radius again, maybe let's say here, that will go back to the white color. The last feature I added are so-called landmarks. These are places that will always be shown on the radar. So things like a tower or a city that the player should have a look at. That means that this feature is somewhere in between the objective markers and the directions because on the one side they are always visible on the radar and there is no distance. But on the other side they are based on a position and not just a world rotation. Adding a landmark is very simple. There is a classes folder and a BP master landmark. You just go to the place where you want to have your landmark appearing, drag it in, and you can also see the little icon that will then appear on the radar. Currently that's a tower that is fine for our statue. And let's add a second one. If we move over here, there is something like a fire. Let's just imagine this is a city. So we'll drag in another landmark. And here under the radar icon, we can select the city landmark. You can also see that updating in the editor. If we then save and play, we can see our tower also updating based on our rotation and the position of the player. And 
our city so all of the landmarks are appearing perfectly. Alright, that's it for the showcase of this little radar or compass system. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.